Hey guys, good morning. It is 1020. I'm rocking my new shades today. I really like them. I like the mirrored look. I don't know. You know, it's very pretentious and I kind of like it. It's beachy to me, which we don't always have beachy here in San Antonio. So another basic item was uh, my coffee. Iced Dopio espresso. I don't know. It's the same thing. It's a double espresso over ice in a venti cup. And I went ahead and got a Premier protein from, or I pulled, took it from the house so that I could put it in there just because I haven't had one in a long time. And I thought it would be nice to have for the day because we have a huge errand running day. Today we are going back to school shopping. Thank goodness. I didn't get it done this past weekend and I wanted to make sure I got it done before anything happened and today is the perfect day since the only thing we have to do today is Emmy has practice tonight. So that works out perfectly. I have the entire day until I need to go pick up Maddie later this evening or early evening. I don't have to pick her up until 6. I usually pick her up between 4 and 5. So that gives us several hours to be able to back to school shop and maybe throw in a little bit of couponing in there to get things going for the day. I like this song. I don't know any of the words, but I like it. <laughs> I had to shazam it so I could remember to download it later. Anyway, I just got done picking up a whole bunch of coupons from not the same lady that I bought from last time. This is a different lady uh, in a different group and I'm sad because she was actually super, super nice. Careful, and she's closer to where I live than the other lady. The other lady had to go kind of far to get the coupons. They were a little bit cheaper, but she didn't have everything. This lady had everything, like all of the inserts from this past week, and she was even super nice enough. Like I told her, I was like, oh, I'm kind of new. Like I'm just trying to figure this out, you know, who I can buy from, who I can't, just different things, and she actually gave me like 10 free PNG inserts, which these coupons expire in a few days, but there's some really good deals in there. So I'm definitely going to be going couponing later today or tomorrow, just for a few things. I'm not, it's not gonna be like the Garnier deal, which Andres is already telling me, like I need to get those shampoos and conditioners out of the kitchen. Um, it's definitely not gonna be like that, but I am going to pick up a few things that like I saw CVS, I used to coupon a lot at CVS and I stopped because I felt like I just didn't really need all the products I was getting. Um, but I think I'm gonna go back and check out CVS. But for right now, my priority today is back to school shopping. So I got a lot of like ideas on where to shop at and Kohl's was one of them. So we are at a Kohl's on Retail Me Not, the app. Kohl's has 15% off. I think it was just 15% off clothes. Or was it 10 off of 50? Hold on, let me see. I just looked it up too and I can't even remember. Let's see, was it 15? Oh, 15% 15 off your purchase. Yeah. So, and I saw that they had, and it doesn't exclude clearance or anything. I don't have any Kohl's cash. That would make it better. But I've heard Kohl's has like a lot of nice brands, a lot of good sales. So I think we're going to check out here. Maybe J JC Penny. There's a Justice, a Crazy Eight. Uh, a Carter's. I, I don't know if she can wear Carter's. I'd have to check. I think they go up to size 8, but I don't know. I know Carter's runs a little smaller for the small girls, so I don't... <laughs> I don't know if Emmy could wear them. And there's an Old Navy over here. And a Target. And I'm sure there's not a Walmart too far, because there's never not a Walmart too far. So yeah, back to school shopping. I have my budget set. The thing that I don't have is a bunch of coupons for back to school, but I'm gonna try and shop clearance, shop the sales. She only needs a few things, and then what I'll do is once we get everything, she already has all her shoes from that Payless sale that I showed you guys. Since she already has all her shoes, I have like a closed budget, and I'm gonna try and stick to it, and once we get it all, a lot of you guys wanted to see like a little runway show of her trying on her clothes, which I think would be super cute for the back to school series. So we'll definitely do that and upload it probably this week or next week. I still need to get my back to school shoes haul going up. So yeah, it's 11:22. Happy birthday to me. Oh no, but on a serious note, today is my brother's 28th birthday. So if you're not subscribed to his channel and you don't know who my brother is, his um, username is revolution210. I will link his channel down below. Go tell him happy birthday for me. I've seen something on Facebook about this. So cool, you find a rock. It says, 
post a pic on Facebook, San Antonio rocks, keep or rehide. So cool, look baby. Whoa. You wanna keep it or rehide it? Keep it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. so cool. We have to post a picture. We found some pretty good stuff in the clearance section. Some of it is for, uh, I don't, like summer, not summer, she, some of it she could wear to school, some of it's for vacation. Like this one. Yeah, like that dress I thought was super pretty. So we're gonna try on some stuff mm -hmm. and see. That she could wear to school if she has a little like cardigan over it. So I'm gonna try and find stuff that I can adapt both ways. That I just thought was cool. It's one of those shirts that has like the, reversible sequence so it has emojis on one side and then it says hashtag emoji emojinal <laughs> like Whoa. emotional I thought that was cool I don't know all this stuff is in a size 7 8 and then of course I found a few things in the big girl section like in the um, area that I don't even know what it would be called they at Kohl's they have it like size 7 to 20 I think in that clearance section they had some baby clothes so I thought this was super pretty I mean, it's only like four bucks, 480 for Autumn. I think I found a shirt for Maddie in there as well. And Autumn, what are you doing, Mama? What are you doing? This onesie that she's in, 18 months. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah! Okay, I got a bunch of stuff for Emmy, and now I'm in the baby clearance section, and I'm finding stuff for Autumn. Like, she needs just a couple pairs of shorts, and these are only $2. But I'm getting distracted by things that I don't need right now. <laughs> like this. This is super cute. But it's too small for Maddie and way too big for Autumn right now. Oh, three months. Look at this. Oh, how cute. And then I found this again. Super cute. $8, but it's too small for Maddie, too big for Autumn. Found this shirt, but. I think it'll be too small for Maddie. I found this one in a size five, which is super cute. I got Emmy one like this, and I think it'll be too big for Maddie. So it's like I really, they have a lot of stuff, but I can't really find much that's going to work like right now. Same thing with this, this is super cute. This would be perfect for Hawaii, but it's a six, so I think it'll be too big for Maddie. I was coming to look for this dress. Ooh, Chonis. I was looking for this dress. This is a chew tee. I was looking for one in the same size for Maddie because I got that dress for Emmy. And I didn't see a bigger size than a two tee and a three tee. Not looking good for the rest of her shopping day. We need to go grab some lunch and hopefully we don't get rained on. Okay, I feel like I got a pretty good deal at Kohl's. I ended up using a 15%, that 15% coupon from Retail Me Not, so my total was 126.57. And that was with uh, my running shoes. So I've told you guys I've been needing new shoes, like workout shoes in general. They were originally 65 on sale for 48.75, but they were excluded from the 15% coupon. So, and the thing that I actually liked is I wanted something simplified black with white trim, and I wanted uh, them to be super lightweight. So, we'll see. She said I could try them. Like, if I go to the gym and work out in them and I don't like them, I can bring them back. That's awesome, because normally you can't do that. So, that'll be good, and then, Let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen items of sh mixes of shorts, shirts, and dresses. Fifteen. So you figure about seventy dollars I spent plus tax, like sixty-eight plus tax. I told I saved two hundred and eighty-four dollars and eight cents. And I got back twenty dollars in Kohl's cash. So I had to ask her what that meant because uh, apparently it's like $20 straight up cash that you can use next week, Monday the 14th through the 20th. So I need to remember to come redeem that. So $20 cash, so it was like I spent 106 and I got a $50 pair of shoes. So that was really good. And of course, like the money I spent for shoes is not coming from her school budget. That doesn't make any sense. I just want to try them out and see if I can get something good before we go on the cruise so I have some nice walking shoes even though those are running shoes but 
what ifs um yeah i'm thinking i was going to go to a restaurant and sit down and have lunch but i'm thinking we may just pick up i don't know a chicken sandwich or something because i don't want to get caught in any of the stores i have umbrellas though so so not too bad i got emmy quite a bit of stuff now some of it is for the cruise uh, i got her dress for the cruise and two shirts for the cruise so you know but those things are things that she could use for school and i only spent what did i say like 70 dollars and some of the stuff wasn't even i bought three pairs of shorts for autumn and a shirt for and a shirt for autumn and a shirt for maddie so like 50 bucks so far out of her budget not bad i'm pretty happy with myself kohl's was pretty cool they had a lot of stuff so i'm excited i think we're gonna hit up old navy next it's starting to rain which makes me sad but look at what i park in front of <laughs> hello kitty so now we are at old navy and oh guys look at all the floral i have a hard time wearing all of old navy stuff so like this shirt i have in a double xl this style shirt i just don't have the black floral one but i have it in a double xl so i know this one will fit and it's on uh, sale some of these other ones like i'm pretty sure this one would be too short they have an orange one that same color i don't think these are on sale though so i have to pick and choose what i can wear from here and what i can't look so, look, look like floral <laughs> my heart <laughs> See, like this is a double XL, and it fits really nicely. It just depends on the cut of the shirt. This one's on clearance for 50 bucks. So far, everything I've tried on, which is I've had one, two, three, four, five shirts, they all fit great and they're all really pretty. What's wrong? You tired? You done with this, huh? My mom just shopping stuff in for me. Well, the snacks are good, huh? Are That's good good? snacks. Emmy has all this to try on. All of it. <laughs> all of it. Um, let me see. Turn around. That shirt's dirty. I don't like this shirt. Lift up your shirt a little. Shorts are cute. You look like, like mommy's exercising pants, right, mm -hmm. Mommy? Only shorter. Like shorts. Yeah. And because then look, here's that first shirt that I picked up. Party. Let's talk about these floral sleep shorts. Look at those, it's five dollars. <laughs> They're so cute. See, these are a double X2, and these fit nicely. I've got room here, and I've got room in the waist. Like, they fit good, So, but I can't wear like double XL leggings and stuff. It just depends on what it is. And then I found these also. Five dollars, and they're normally $12.99 some sleep shorts did pretty good here at Old Navy we got that much stuff I don't know how much it's gonna be but pretty good now I think the last place we're gonna hit up is Walmart she doesn't need jeans but she will need shorts and I did find one pair of shorts at Kohl's no shorts here just a pair of pants oh she's also going to need some of these like leggings actually I may see if they have some here okay we've had a full day of shopping it is 320 I'm going to hit up one more place Walmart and just because I know their shorts are super reasonably priced I think I can actually get a pair of shorts there for under ten dollars and I did find a pair at Kohl's for like six five or six dollars which was a good deal but then at that's right baby thank you at um Old Navy they didn't all they had was my Old Navy receipt it was like this long uh, at Old Navy the only pair that they had was like almost 20 bucks I was like <laughs> no nah. especially when she's not gonna be able to wear them that long like she'll be able to wear them the rest of August and all of September maybe even part of October but for the most part not really so I'm I'm pretty sure I got I need to buy her essentials you know like camis and some private things and uh, so I need to buy that stuff but then I, she's good to go with like tank tops and short sleeve shirts mixed with some of the stuff she had left over from earlier in the summer and last year she has some good stuff still that she hardly even wore so I think she's good with that and then I'll rebuy stuff for spring I'm not gonna worry about like when spring comes and it's hot again I'll worry about that during tax season which is usually what we do like we'll go to the outlets and buy everyone a bunch of well not everyone but like the kids a bunch of clothes during tax season so 
we'll do that. I do need to get shorts and then she needs like leggings. She has a ton of jeans, tons, 14 pairs, I told you guys, and 12 actually fit her extremely well. So that and then uh, I found like every, all the outfits I want for her for vacation, which is awesome. And a lot of them can transition into the school year nicely. I do need to find her a little cami of some sort because a bunch of her dresses she can wear to school. Just the straps she can't wear. She can't wear a spaghetti strap. They have to be like, uh, she can wear tank tops, but they have to be regular tank tops. They can't be spaghetti straps. So yeah, I'll need to do that. Find her a little cami. Looks like it rained over here. It's like the roads are all wet. A little cami and then um, some shorts and leggings and she's done. Oh, I'm so excited. So, so excited. And I've stayed really nicely in budget. What did I tell you I spent at Kohl's? Like 50 bucks on her. I'd actually have to look at my receipt and add everything up, but roughly around 50 at Kohl's for her and then roughly around 40 because I actually spent my bill at Old Navy was like 142 but part of it was for my, I bought five shirts. <laughs> so part of it was for me and then I did buy Maddie a couple of clearance uh, rompers okay, and, thank you baby, uh, rompers and a shirt, I think. I didn't find anything for Autumn there. So between my stuff and Maddie's stuff, I think, because I wanted to stay around $200. Typically for back to school, my budget's three to four hundred, and that just depends on what all she needs. Not including back like school supplies. That's like shoes, pants. Well, this year was easier. I already did her school supplies, and I got really great deals on her school supplies. And then on top of that, I got all those jeans, so she doesn't need jeans. And on top of that, all those things, I got. Um, what else did I get? Oh, the, all those those shoes at Payless, which I ended up spending about $190 on, but it was literally shoes for the entire year. Like the entire year, and it wasn't just for her, it was for Maddie and Autumn as well. So I just completely nixed those things from my back to school budget. So I really wanted to try and stay around 200 for her today. Um, so yeah, like 50 at Kohl's and 70 was their portion at Old Navy, but I'm thinking like, let's see, I got Maddie, I think three things. So hers was probably like another 50 bucks at Old Navy. So I'm doing real good, <laughs> like really good. I remember last year doing back to school and I was pregnant and I was like so miserable doing back to school shopping, but I tried to get it done and I got all of her stuff at Walmart on clearance and it was an amazing deal. I didn't do that this year because when I checked out clearance a few weeks ago, they didn't really have much in her size. So I'm hoping I can find shorts and leggings. And what else did I say, mama? Leggings. Shorts. shorts did I say something else? Dang, I'm gonna have to go back and watch the footage. It was one more. I know I said something else. I just don't remember what it was. Oh, a camisole. No, no. Was it cam? Yeah, camis. I don't know. Anyway, we're headed to Walmart. And then I think that's going to be it for today. We're going to meet my mom for dinner tonight at Carino's. Yeah, I see it. At Carino's. And so that way she can see the girls. And then she's going to take Autumn and Maddie. I don't even know if Emmy's going to have practice because it's raining over here. But she's going to take Autumn and Maddie to her house so I can take Emmy to practice. And then it's gonna be a day for me. <laughs> I'm calling it a day. I'm done. I think my coffee was like a great day to have coffee because I was like, boom, 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 let's go. We gotta try this on. <laughs> and I didn't even get to coupon today, but that's okay. I can go home tonight and clip everything. And then tomorrow, my aunt's gonna come over and visit the girls. So maybe I, she can stay and watch them and I can go coupon for a bit. This is the rock that we found at Kohl's. You wanna tell them what it's all about, mommy? So there's a Facebook group. You know, you hold it, baby. I'm you hold it. I'm driving. Okay. Um, there's a Facebook group that on the back of the rock. Read what it says. It says, "Post a pic. A pic is a short name for picture on Facebook. San Antonio rocks." 
so people apparently this is a thing I, I saw it on one of my friends Facebook pages on her personal page she posted something about it and people decorate these rocks turn it around baby so I showed you guys it earlier but this one had an owl and they decorate these rocks and put them everywhere I'm assuming more places in just San Antonio uh, does this but they put them anywhere and if you find it they leave a message on the back you can either keep it or rehide it somewhere but take a picture with it and post it on the Facebook uh, right group so or that's what I did and I thought it was I don't know kind of cute little thing and she's been obsessed with it all day so that's nice that she was like I'm gonna show Maddie I'm like don't show Maddie unless you plan on letting her look at it because Maddie will be like oh that's my rock I found it <laughs> no one she didn't find it Adam's over there shaking my gum packet but the thing that I love about these Walmart doesn't have the shorts on clearance but they're super cheap they're faded glory and they're six dollars and ninety six cents I mean regularly that's super cheap but the thing I like about them is they didn't have this darker one in a seven and she's in a size seven and she still has to use the adjustable waist but she can wear these size eights and then adjust there's this thing on the inside I don't know if any parents know that where you can pull and adjust the waist so they don't have to wear a belt with it and it washes really nicely and it's just it's awesome for seven dollars and then the leggings that they have here are Three, none of them have the price. They're like 360. They fit really nicely. They don't hold up that well. Like she's really rough on her knees. So she will get white patches and stuff on her knees. And she has come home with holes after I've washed them several times. But for 360, I mean, you can't beat it. So we're getting like one in every color. Same thing with the shorts, one in like every color. And we got some chunas under there. And I think I picked out a few like clearance shirts and stuff, so pretty good deal. Okay, can we just talk about these bags right here? If you've been following me for a long time, what do these remind you of? Mm hmm Those are totally Rebecca Minkoff. <laughs> hey, I have a purse that looks almost identical to this. Now, of course, it is a little bit different. These are 14 bucks, but like even the chain. Doesn't that look so much like Rebecca Minkoff? And they're actually quite cute. I like this dark gray. Walmart was a huge success. We got a bunch of stuff. I even found me a pair of jean shorts that are like a dark khaki and in size 22. I'm so excited. I found all of Emmy's shorts, all of her chunas and her leggings. We even got some jammies on clearance, a pair of shorts for Maddie. Lots of good stuff. Look at all of this. Cool, look at that. So pretty, oh my gosh. I found one shirt for me, one pair of khaki pants, and I mean shorts, and one pair of regular shorts. Look at that, $7. I'm so excited to see what my total is. Okay, so I'm currently waiting for my mom and I think my brother to get to Carino's. And we just left Walmart and I got such an amazing deal. So Emmy's clothes today, I, and I got her I mean, I'll do a haul for sure. Easily, like, easily 20 plus shirts. I got her probably 15, 20 bottoms. So I got, like, leggings. Oh my gosh, I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine leggings, like, seven pairs of shorts, a bunch of sets. I got a lot of stuff, a lot. Not only at Walmart, my total at Walmart was 181.43, but I did get some, a few things for Maddie two pairs of shorts for me and a shirt for me and my stuff was there's mama my stuff was $21 just by itself and the girls I got the girls chunas but that was like 30 bucks so $50 of that alone was just other stuff but anyway I added up Emmy's total for today two twenty nine twenty three. I'm so proud of myself that was about $30 more than I wanted to go but she got way more than she I mean I even anticipated getting her such good deals today oh I'm so excited to be done with back to school shopping Maddie she needed chunas so I got her those and I got her a few things on clearance everything that I got from Maddie was on clearance um, so just because it was a good deal not because she really needed a ton a ton so mama's here we're gonna go eat it's so crazy that autumn pretty much eats anything nowadays she eats whatever we eat which is crazy to me. I cut her up a little bit of chicken from the pasta. She had a little bit of pasta. 
She had tomatoes, some olives. She just olives. eats whatever. I know, I said that. And a little bit of bread. Good night, see you tomorrow. Good night, see you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, and Autumn. Good night, see you tomorrow. <laughs> She's so sad. <laughs> What? She went to sleep immediately. She was tired. Poor kid. Oh, Adam. Oh, Adam. <laughs> hey guys, I have not vlogged in so many hours. It's 11:40 p.m. I know I let the girls say good night, but prior to that, I think it was in the parking lot of Carino's, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> right before I went to have dinner with my mom. My brother didn't end up going, um, but just because he was hanging out with Melissa, because today was his birthday, like I mentioned earlier. So it was just my mom and the girls, my mom, it was us, anyway, it was just us with my mom. <laughs> and uh, we had a nice meal, it was totally fine, no big deal. And then from there, I dropped off uh, Maddie, well Maddie actually rode with my mom, Maddie and Autumn at my mom's and just because it's a little easier she volunteered to watch them while I took Emmy to practice so I went and luckily Emmy was in pretty much like basketball gear I didn't have her ball or my chair or water so I borrowed a chair from my mom got water bottles from my mom's house and then she shared a ball with one of the kids at practice and we went to practice we were there till almost nine o'clock and went to go I went to go pick up the girls hung out for just like a few minutes at my mom's house went to go pick up the girls came home got them ready for bed and literally like 30 minutes later on the desk was home I was editing the vlog and the girls had just gone to bed they, it was a late night for them tonight for sure so then him and I sat here for like an hour and just talked about his day about my day about I don't even know life in general just catching up is nice he went to go downstairs to have something to eat to kind of unwind from his day at work and I just finished editing the video I'm waiting for it to export and as soon as it exports I'm gonna sit here until the stupid thing uploads because apparently last night I jinxed myself I was like oh yeah it's up that was a fail my battery died <laughs> um what was I talking about? Oh, that I was talking about the vlog last night. And I was like, yeah, you know, it's going to go up. It looks great. No problem. Um, but I said he woke up at 4.30 and he can go back to sleep. So he came out here and he noticed. He's so sweet. I just love him. He came out here and he noticed my vlog was not uploaded. And so he uploaded it last night at 4.30 or this morning. At 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> and just the little things, you know. I didn't even notice. I took my butt to bed and I was like, oh yeah, we're good. No problem. No. So right now, it is almost done exporting. I'm going to watch this baby upload because for whatever reason, YouTube hates me right now and it just refuses to do my videos. Either that or like I've mentioned before, I need to start editing them earlier in the day so I can start uploading them around 10. 9 to 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. That way I have plenty of time before midnight to get them up because I can't stand when I upload them after midnight. Like either that or I need to start getting back on a daily routine and maybe that's something that'll happen. Andres was telling me about the comments on the vlog when I was talking about the cruise like you know how I was worried about uploading and different things that everyone was like oh my gosh just enjoy your vacation don't worry about us you know we love watching you but we'll be fine and I know that and I just like I was telling him vlogging to me is just so much fun regardless of like the hate and the mean people and things like that yes there are downsides to vlogging of course putting my life out there no matter how short or long of a vlog it is putting my life out there is very vulnerable and I don't always have the thickest and toughest skin and sometimes things affect me that shouldn't affect me that I shouldn't let get to me and sometimes they do but just in general I love everything about vlogging I, I just I love having the memories even if I know I had a crappy day or whatever I can go back and look 
at the day that I had and those memories are always there and I was just telling him right now I'm gonna try and upload this right now while we're talking might as well kill two birds with one stone and I was just telling him right now like I would have loved to have those the video memories when we first got together you know it's like I've been vlogging for about a year and a half now daily but I've truly been taking video and like vlogging our vacations since we got married so our let's see our wedding is up on youtube already a lot of you guys have seen that if i can remember melissa post that down below <laughs> um that's already up on youtube and it's funny because i mean it's totally like i had to it was cop it had a lot of copyright stuff in it so i had to rip it from the file that they gave me so I ripped it and put it back on so like some of the sound is a little off and stuff it's not the best quality video I guess I don't know if it was just like not before the time of those videos or something I don't really know what happened the clip that he ended up giving me I had to rip it and it was just like a whole big old mess but anyway so if you want to check that out I will link it down below and then so after that that was a professional videographer and then my first vlogging experience was our honeymoon um, back in 2011 to Hawaii which is our first time in Hawaii and I did vlog that and you want to talk about awkward that was like <laughs> super awkward because I was doing it with a video like an actual video camera I did have a flip screen on the side that kind of turned but it wasn't one like I have now it was like one of those handheld ones that you held like this you know, it was like the first camera that I used for all of my beauty videos and everything. And I thought it was like so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna vlog, a vlog our um, honeymoon. This is gonna be awesome. And it was just, it was like such great footage to look back on, on a time of our lives that was totally different. Totally, like we had just just got custody of Emmy not even custody we were going through a kinship program and like getting all our fostering paperwork and stuff finalized at that time because we officially got her in July July 21st of 2011 and that was when we started everything so we had to have the majority of our fostering stuff already in the works before we got married in order to carry it over so it was just like a big old it was paperwork is all it was so, I mean she was with us and we were certified it just wasn't all the way certified and then it was like another process to get everything changed after we got married but anyway that was that so it was just a time in our lives that was totally different like at that point we had no clue that Emmy was going to get to stay with us at all we had no clue that I wasn't going to get pregnant right away I, it just I don't know our mindset was totally different so it's really neat to look back on that honeymoon footage and then the next thing after that was like birth videos birth announcements and then our next vacation to Hawaii in 2014 and then our California vlog in 2015 I have a Colorado vlog from 2016 and then this year 2017 we're gonna have Mexico <laughs> it's just really cool to look back on like all everything that we do in our day-to-day -day lives whether it's good bad indifferent like it just it's really neat and I was telling Andres like I really wish him and I moved super quickly in the beginning very quickly like the first time we really hung out was his birthday 2006 which was June 3rd we were together and boyfriend and girlfriend June 21st and I was already pretty much living with him pretty soon after that because we went on our first vacation as a couple that December I actually have a scrapbook of it somewhere I'd have to show you guys in 2006 there was nothing like this I don't even know that YouTube was super popular I didn't start YouTube until 2010 so in 2006 I don't even know that there was like video cameras were super expensive I even remember my phone was a razor <laughs> in 2006 and my camera was like a Sony I thought it was the coolest thing ever I think it was like a 10 megapixel or something um, digital camera you know I mean there just wasn't things like that back then so I wish I had had more things we went to California that first year we were together we hadn't even been together but six months 
we already went on a vacation together. We went to California to visit some of his friends and family and um, we went to Disneyland for New Year's. We left right after Christmas and we stayed there past New Year's. That was super fun. 2008, we went to Vegas together. That was awesome. I had never been, he had been before. 2009, I got my first bachelor's degree. We went, we drove in my Beetle <laughs> to Disney World and we went to Disney World in Orlando, Florida. And then, you know, it just, oh, memories, like from there, they're just awesome and I wish I had video to look back on. So whether you guys think that I should just take it easy and don't worry about vlogging and stuff, it's not gonna happen. I love having the memories and it's just a bonus that I get to share it with you guys. So thank you for all of the love and feedback and concern. It just makes my heart open to you guys that much more and it makes me want to share our life experiences with you that much more. So anyway, while I'm waiting for this to upload, which hopefully we're headed in the right direction, it's got four minutes left, I am um, kind of catching up on this week's planner. I've been doing, and I mentioned this, I've been doing like nothing but pin and a few stickers the last few weeks and I really like it. Like this week I did, or last week I did, blue and the only reason I have two pictures here is because I double printed them on um, whatever that thing's called my zinc printer Polaroid zinc printer is that what it's called zip whatever I double printed them when I was doing my journaling so I just happened to stick them in here but yeah I really have been liking doing that I love the all sticker look but it's already bulking up my planner like you can already see how it's bulking I actually don't know if it'll focus on it but it's already bulking up the planner quite a bit so I am just going to stick with in the hardbound at least until I find a reason to not like it anymore I'm gonna stick with um, just pen and actually the pens I've been using are these cheapy pens from Dollar Tree that you got like eight for a dollar in different colors I really like it so I've just been kind of using a few stickers writing it everything down and it works for me. So after rambling here for the last 10 minutes, I will let you guys go and call it a vlog. Tomorrow my aunt's coming over to hang out, so probably won't vlog too, too much during the day because I mentioned last week she doesn't really like being in the camera or speaking to the camera if she can help it. Look, I freaking said this thing was gonna upload and now it's stalled at 63%. So I may try and coerce her into watching the girls for like an hour while I run up to CVS since I got all my coupons today. I didn't get to go couponing today because I was shopping all day. <laughs> all day. All freaking day. Um, but it was worth it. I mean, I had so much fun. It was, it was nice to just hang out and get to do a girly day of shopping. But I didn't get to go couponing and I didn't buy the coupons for nothing. So I do want to go couponing. So like I said, I may rope her into watching the girls while I go do that. And then I'll have to figure out something for dinner tomorrow night. And that will be the end of the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed today. And we will see you tomorrow.